Hi guys, welcome back to Tip Ranks. We love to hear from you here at Tip Ranks. Let us know down below in the comments what you guys think of different stocks you're looking at, different stocks you've invested in, maybe your opinions on market sentiment as well. In this video, I'm really excited to share three stocks that are buy the dip type of stocks. Now the oldest advice in the book is to buy low and sell high. But it can be difficult to recognize low cost stocks with high gain potential. A great way is looking at fundamentally sound stocks that have had a sharp decline in their prices. This is essentially a deal in the stock price, a discount. So let's look at the TipRanks platform to pull up details on these three buy the dip stocks. The first stock is Open Lending Corporation and its ticker is LPRO. Open Lending is a loan financing company in the automotive sector. In recent years, financing has been the engine for car sales, both used and new. This will be more and more important as inflation increases car prices. Open Lending is a Texas-based company that makes the decision process easier. They have loan analytics, risk modeling, and risk-based pricing. They also have automated decision-making. Open Lending Corporation actually went public last year through a SPAC transaction. So Open Lending works with automotive lending companies. They offer a platform to streamline their lending process. The company's services allows lenders to make the best use of their assets and allow the maximization of repayment rates. The result ends up being lower risk and higher yields, which is a win-win for everyone, including the end customer who gets a newly purchased car. The current price for LPRO is $23.24 and the analyst rating consensus is a strong buy. Analyst price target on LPRO is $38.57, which is a 65.96% upside based on eight Wall Street analysts offering 12-month price targets for open lending. As you can see, they had some volatility in their share price throughout 2021. However, the company's stock generally stayed elevated until September of this year when it started falling from its peak. From this peak, the stock is down around 43%. Even though the stock is down, the company management described the recent Q3 2021 report as a record. They reported a total revenue of $58.9 million during Q3 of 2021. This was compared to $29.8 million for the third quarter of 2020. This is up an impressive 97% year over year. The company also facilitated over 49,000 certified loans during the quarter, and this was up 138% year over year. EPS was also positive at 23 cents per share compared to 62 EPS loss in the year ago quarter. Net income was $29.4 million compared to the net loss of $71.1 million. And the adjusted EBITDA was $42.1 million in the third quarter of 2021 compared to $19.8 million in the third quarter of 2020. The TipRank Smart Score is a 3 in that it is likely to underperform the market. But this is sort of expected given this is a buy the dip stock. The analyst ratings despite this Smart Score deem it to be a strong buy. TipRank's investors are very positive. Blogger opinions are also very bullish. Hedge fund activity, however, has decreased by 869.100 thousand shares in the last quarter. Technicals, however, have been negative. And insider activity has also sold shares. Fundamentals, though, however, show that return on equity is 164.88%. Joseph Vaffy, a five-star analyst from Canaccord Genuity, sees the company in a great position despite the inflationary headwinds. He said that another all-time record quarter, bucking COVID, global chip shortages, and rising car prices, and underscoring how resilient the open lending platform is against such macro headwinds. 
the LPRO business model is still expanding, with solid execution in credit union refi, potential launching new products in the short term, and importantly, moving forward with auto OEM relationships in addition to the two already in hand. Even during a tough quarter in auto transactions, the company signed 16 new customers, four of which had assets of over $1 billion or greater. And this is why Joseph Vaffy gave a buy rating with a $55 price target, which is actually 136.66% upside. The second buy the dip stock is 59, and its ticker is FIVN. 59 is an AI cloud company that offers a scalable contact center platform. 59 has a smart product in a crowded industry. But online contact is a growth industry. The company's AI software allows for faster data analysis with greater accuracy and greater efficiency. Contact center customers can use the AI to track and route calls. They can direct callers and service agents and process information. The big news recently on Five9 was the collapse of the company's talks with Zoom. The two companies had been in negotiations over a Zoom offer to acquire Five9. The offer for an all-stock deal was worth $14.7 billion, but Five9 shareholders rejected the deal on the last day of September. It's quite unusual for company shareholders to reject a merger deal of this type. The current price for Five9 is $142.33. The analyst rating consensus is that it's a strong buy. The analyst price target is $199.25, which is a 39.99% upside based on 16 Wall Street analyst ratings. Five9 stock had been volatile this year, but it was slipping since its August peak. It fell further after the rejection of the Zoom offer. And currently, Five9 is down around 32% from its peak value. Despite the abandonment of the Zoom offer in the third quarter, Five9 reported record revenue and beat the EPS estimates in the Q3 financial release. The company hit its top line at $154.3 million in total revenue, and this was an increase of 38% year over year. EPS was at $0.28, cents, which was 12% better than the $0.25 cent forecast. Gross margin was around 64.1% compared to 65.4% in the previous year. Adjusted EBITDA was $27.4 million. This was higher compared to their $24.1 million in the Q3 of 2020. The Tipwreck Smart Score is an 8 in that it is very likely to outperform the market. Analyst ratings deem it to be a strong buy. Blogger opinions are also bullish as well as news sentiment. Tipperank's investors are also very positive. Hedge fund activity increased by 1.4 million shares in the last quarter. Technicals have been negative and insider activity shows that many have sold shares and fundamentals show that return on equity is minus 26.12%. Five-star analyst with Truist Financial, Terry Tillman deems it to be a buy with a $210 price rating, which has a 47.54% upside. He wrote that Five9 returned to its regularly scheduled quarterly call without missing a beat. The company delivered record bookings in Q3 and sounded confident about ongoing strong momentum in enterprise growth, whilst confirming 2026 revenue, $2.4 billion, and EBITDA margin as 23% as potential targets laid out in recent SEC filings. Given the stock underperformance since the Zoom deal was terminated, we believe this is a good entry point for investors as fundamental momentum stays strong. The third buy the dip stock is Anexon Biosciences and its ticker is ANNX. Anexon is a clinical stage researcher focused on C1Q, an initiating molecule of the classical complement pathway. And this is one that is implicated in a number of autoimmune and neurodegenerative diseases that affect the body, brain, and eye. The company's development pipeline features drug candidates designed to act as potent, selective inhibitors of C1Q to prevent tissue damage and antibody-mediated autoimmune response, as well as to preserve function in synapses associated with cognitive decline complement-mediated degenerative disease. 
The company's drug candidates have broad application to multiple complement-mediated conditions. Annexon is developing drug candidates with multiple indications. The autoimmune program, for example, has three drug candidates under investigation for five different conditions. The most advanced of these tracks featuring ANX005 as a treatment for Guillain-Barre syndrome. And this is enrolling patients in a phase two to three clinical trial with completion projected for 2023. Earlier data from the drug-drug interaction study and the phase 1b trial was presented this year and showed an acceptable tolerability profile along with positive therapeutic action. The company recently completed a phase 2 trial of ANX005 in the treatment of Huntington's disease, HD, and initiated dosing in, f in a phase 2 trial of the drug against amyotropic lateral sclerosis, ALS. Data releases on these trials are expected in Q4 of 2021 and during 2022, respectively. Annexon recently expanded its development program with ANX009, which is a new drug candidate aimed at treating lupus. The current price for ANNX is $16.29. The analyst rating consensus deems it to be a strong buy, and the analyst price target is $38.50, which is 136.34% upside based on five Wall Street analyst ratings. Despite this active pipeline, the company saw its stock fall around 61% from its peak. The third quarter financial results reported a net loss of $35.6 million, which was around 93 cents per share. And this was compared to 15.6 million or around 77 cents per share for the quarter ended September 30th, 2021. Many times clinical stage studies can report net losses because their revenues can be delayed due to the fact that they wait approvals and their pipeline clinical trials going successfully. Their R&D expenses were $27.6 million for Q3 of 2021, compared to $11 million for Q3 of 2020. However, they do have a sufficient cash position to fund operating plans into 2024, with a cash and cash equivalents and short-term investments of $271.4 million as of Q3 2021. The TIPRANK Smart Score is an 8 in that it is very likely to outperform the market. Analyst ratings deem it to be a strong buy. TIPRANK's investors are also very positive. However, hedge fund activity has decreased by 200,800 shares in the last quarter. Technicals have been negative. However, insider activity shows that many have bought shares worth 154,800 in the last three months. Fundamentals have shown that return on equity is negative 36.86%. However, such technicals are quite normal when we see clinical stage researchers, especially given they are investing in their pipeline and revenues are more seen when results take place and approvals in their drugs take place. JP Morgan analyst Anupam Rama deems it to be a buy with a $37 price target, which is a 127.13% upside. He says that in a win scenario, we are looking for a clean safety profile for ANX005 and a positive directional trends on key biomarkers, particularly on neurofilament light chain or NFL, with a home run scenario showing initial or early trends of functional benefit. While we acknowledge that HD data will be early stage, we note upside scenarios likely will have sentiment pull through to the broader neurodegeneration efforts, i.e. platform value. Importantly, from current levels, we see upside in ANNX shares on Guillain-Barre syndrome, GBS, alone into the mid-$20 region, and the broader pipeline, including Phase 2 HD readout as providing pipeline optionality. So guys, those are the three buy-the-dip stocks that analysts recommend. Leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you guys think of these stocks. Have you already looked at them? We love to hear from you. And if you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when the Tip Ranks channel releases a video. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!